She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Don't back up, don't back up. You did it! traveled all over Asia, digging up some of the world's most unique and what some might call weird food. I tried worm pancakes in Vietnam. Oh. They put the worms ooh, on top. Ooh, ooh. What the? I tried fire ants in Cambodia. Super <laughs> sour taste. I even tried a little bit of Kentucky Fried Snake in China. If you're gonna get snake, do it right. Get a huge snake because then you can really bite into it. But here in India, we had to dig even deeper. What some call weird, I call extreme food innovation. Today's innovators include this shop, the first to sell noodle ice cream in India. We'll find out why this crazy man is putting his hand in boiling hot oil. And we'll see if I survive my bout with New Delhi's infamous fire pond. Have you done this before? No, it's very first time. Oh, you haven't it. done it either? No. Oh. Our next location, Frank's, oh my God, the street is clear. Hi, so our next location, it's a very unique food right here, made at this stall, invented at this stall that we're going to right now. For over 60 years, this small shop has been cranking out the goods. A sweet, refreshing confection called Robbery Faluda. This is basically a noodle ice cream. They've taken a vermicelli noodle and they mixed it with a very sweet, thick, it is like a condensed milk. You get this every day? Whenever I come here, I take it. How often do you come here? Once in a year. Once a year? Yeah. Whoa. We hit the anniversary today. That's amazing. What's your favorite part? Why do you like this? I used to take uh, this dish uh, right from my childhood. It's from 1956. Yeah. So when you were a child, you were coming here to eat yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy. Happy, an happy anniversary, you two. The dessert starts with a handful of vermicelli noodles. Then the robbery, made by simmering milk long enough for it to become dense and pink in color. Then sugar, spices, and nuts are added to give it flavor. Next, a generous dollop of honey, and it finishes off with a bit of ice on top. One glass of noodle ice cream, please. Thank you, sir. Wow, look at this. It's so special for a couple of reasons. One, they've been doing this since 1956, and this shop is the epicenter, the originator, of this dish. I mean, who would have thought one day someone was like, hey, I'm mixing condensed milk and noodles. And then it caught on. Like this is all over the place in Delhi, but we came right to the source. As that man said, it's his anniversary today. And today is the start of my anniversary with this drink. So get a picture together, I guess. Good. So we got ice, we got honey, we got a little bit of finger spice in there. It all just makes it taste nice. Let's try it out. Oh, that is a complex flavor profile. It's sweet, it's chilled, it's icy. And it's really, it's fruity too. The drink almost has like a spice to it. They put in all these dried fruits into the condensed milk. Oh, I found an almond. There's some almonds, there's some nuts in here too. It's a nice refreshing treat for the nice man I just met here. It reminds him of his childhood and it also reminds me of his childhood, so. Really great memories here today. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, but yeah, mm, thank you. Oh, he needs his glass back. Uh. Old Delhi is a chaotic thrill ride. A swarm of stimulation, people on the go, plenty of food, and this guy too. Guys, come on, I found an oxen. They have an ox drawn cart right here. Okay, I gotta be a little careful. Hi, buddy. They have an ox drawn cart right here. Look at this guy. His horns are painted up like the flag of India, orange, white, green. Just uh, just an ox on the street pulling a cart. That's amazing. <laughs> Our next mission, sucking goat bones. It'll make sense in a second. We are in the busiest part of Old Delhi right now. The horns are going nonstop. If you're in someone's way, they just kind of push you to the side. That's all right, no big deal. Hi, how you doing? Hey, all right, we're still smiling though, that's good. So we're going to this legendary restaurant up in front of us, and this is where people might eat after they go to the mosque here, one of the biggest mosques in India, and certainly the biggest in Delhi. Right up here, there's a place serving halal food. 
We're gonna order some of their famous biryani. Oh my God, it's like overwhelmingly loud out here. I've ordered up some mutton biryani and nali nihari, slow cooked goat that's become so tender you can suck out the bone marrow. It is crazy busy outside. You can probably still hear the horns from here, but it is packed. The guy is like, look, you can shoot. You got 15 minutes and get out. I got people to serve. We get it. So we're here for a quick bite. It's my first time having this mutton biryani and I'm gonna try just a big spoonful of that here. It's really good. It's full of spices and flavor. There's some Cuban coming through. They have this dish right here, and there's something special in the bone. But first, we're gonna eat some of this meat. I don't know the best way to approach this. I can just like pull off the meat and put it into this bread. That to me seems pretty genius. And I don't know if anyone's thought of that before me. I mean, look at that nice, tender goat meat. Let's try it out. That is just some of the most delicious meat I've had, period. Not just that it's goat. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's crazy oily, spicy, just doused in seasoning and spices. The real reason I wanted to get this is because in this bone, you're supposed to be able to suck out the bone marrow. And I'm gonna try to do that now. There's nothing. I, I went for it, I sucked the bone, and uh, nothing came out this time. No. What? I was like feeling all down and sad. And this guy just did like a Hadouken and, and got it out. Like right there, you can see at the very tip, there's some tendon peeking out right there. Do you see it? Let's try it out. No, I got it. Oh, oh, it's really yummy. It's so little, but it's so delicious. Rich, fatty, it's like a little grizzly still. Has completely soaked up all those seasonings. Well, good enough, good enough. Finally, I will risk my mouth to eat the scorching fire pond. Various types of pond have been around forever, but fire pond is a fairly recent invention, and we're going right to the source. I am with Akshita, and she is gonna show me fire pond. Now, what is pond by itself? Pond is basically a beetle leaf, and there are a lot of uh, paste, and there are spices, and mm -hmm. it's rolled. People eat it because it helps in digestion, as well as people eat after the meals. They also eat as a dessert. It's yeah, like a mouth fresh, mouth it's freshener. A, and someone's gonna put this food into my mouth right. for me. Yeah. Now, I like the idea of someone feeding me, I don't know if I like the idea of someone feeding me food that's on fire, but that's what's gonna happen next. My man, how you doing? Can we do a pound? Boom, flavored pond, chocolate, nut chocolate, fruit and nut, choco moco. They have all these different varieties here, um, but they're gonna do the fire one. Do you have uh, insurance? Have you done this before? No, it's very first time. Oh, you have haven't it. done it either? No. Oh, wait, you're gonna go first. She would uh, like one fire pond. Yeah, one fire pond. Oh, are you ready for this? You got this, you got this. Don't do that. Is, are you okay? Look, look to the camera. <laughs> are you all right? Is it burn? Can you just tell us like very elaborately what your feelings are right now? Oh, your mouth is pretty full, right? While she's chewing, I order up my own fire pond, starting with a beetle leaf, then they create a breath freshening paste from acacia extract. Then this clump of sweet rose petal preserves, a bit of chipped ice, then a mystery powder that they set on fire. Top it off with some syrup and we're ready to go. He's lighting it on fire. Oh, jeepers. Oh, my heart's beating faster. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. It's a really strong flavor. You got that oh. smoky flavor? That burnt? Mm hmm. It is so minty. Yeah. <coughs> like intensely minty. <laughs> that is like husbands who are smoking, who are trying to hide it from their wives. They probably eat this before this, they yeah, go home. Yeah, they do, they do. Because it actually uh, removes the fragrance of the cigarette. She's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. Don't back up, don't back up. You did it! The fire was so close to my face, I felt it. I, I felt the <laughs> it was singeing my eyebrows. Hold on, before this I had rich, thick eyebrows. Where did they go? It was scary. It was scary, right? Yeah, and we there was like smoky flavor, all smoke in my mouth. 
and then you get the flavors of the pan simultaneously, slowly, slowly. Do you want more? Yeah, let's try the ice pan now. We have some fire, we're scorching, we're gonna cool down with some ice. Ice pan starts with the same type of base and rose paste. Then they twist it into a cone shape, perfect for holding the ice. Once it's topped with ice, they dump in a bit more syrup, close it up, and shove it in. It looks like it must taste good, right? One, two, three. <laughs> Mmm! <laughs> oh, cold! <laughs> My mouth is numb. That one is good. I like that one a lot more. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like full of chunky shaved ice. And then I just tasted Hershey's strawberry syrup and then that thick beetle leaf, which is kind of minty in itself. That was a good combination with yeah. the ice. Too cold. I know, I got a brain freeze. Thank you so much for trying this with me. On to the next food. Whether you're trying to hide your smoking habit from your wife or you just want to take on some extreme eats, Fire Pond is a must try experience. Next up, this guy tries to deep fry his own hand. Ganesh Restaurant serves tandoori chicken, tandoori fish, and fried fish. But it's how the owner's father interacted with patrons that makes it so special. We are at the legendary Ganesh Restaurant. I'm with the owner, Deepak, and thank you so Hi. much for having me today. What is so special about your restaurant? It's been so long. We are serving the same dish from ages. It's been 60 years running the same restaurant. Wow. So it was started by grandfather, then my father, now it's the third generation serving. The uniqueness was that my father used to fry fish, putting his hands in, into the deep oil, saying wow. that the oil is not hot enough for the fish. When we used to measure it, it used to be more than 200 degrees hot. But yeah. he used to put whole, whole of his hand into the hot oil. That's right. As people would impatiently crowd around waiting for their fish, Deepak's father would insist that the fish needs time to cook by sticking his own hand in the fryer. Right here, we have these two massive ovens. Is this yeah, a tandoor? Yeah. yeah, we call it clay oven. This is the boneless fish. And uh, one we have with bone. The main uniqueness is we don't put so much of spices. We actually let our customers enjoy the flavor of meat mm. rather than the spices. And over here they're making bread. What is this kind of bread called? We call it tandoori roti. And he uses like a little pillow to put it yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's very gentle. You want it's, to try? It's very sweet. Yeah. I'll slap a roti in there. Now no, you'll have to just go do okay. a little. Yeah. Just be confident, right? Yeah. Oh, it's freaking hot in there. You knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> That's like a thousand, a thousand degrees in there. Yeah. Okay. Try that too. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> <that's good. laughs> Do you have any hair on your hands? Hold on. Do you have any hair? No, all gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crazy hot. I never would have guessed. Like obviously, it's hot. It's cooking the bread. Yeah. But like that, legitimately burned my hand. His father would always put his hand in. Why? It's a style, you can call it. Ah, uh, okay. Just to stand out a little bit? You can call it a swag, a swag. I need a little bit of style for my show. Uh, should I? No, I'll, I'll let him do it. This place happens to be slamming right now because starting tomorrow, there's a 10-day religious holiday of the Hindi people where they can't eat meat. And so everyone's coming tonight to get their meat on before it's like game over for the meat. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Carrying on the tradition. Wow. Like, it's so historical. Look at all these people recording it. It's not even just me this time. My father basically used to show that the oil is not hot. So it will take take time to cook, but it is actually hot. It takes time to cook, guys. You gotta be patient. Uh, but you don't have to be patient, because we're gonna edit this, and the next thing I'm gonna be doing is eating that. We've got the tandoori fish here. We've got the fried fish here. It's both catfish, and then a plate here full of mint and coriander chutney onions, some radish, a little bit of lemon, which we're gonna start by just spritzing that on there. I like so. Looks heavy, it's got body to it, it's meaty. We'll put it with some chutney. Let's try it out. Whoa, that is delicious and very spicy. He's right, he doesn't add a ton of spices. It tastes very natural, but it is quite spicy. The chutney has a busload of cilantro in there. It's so much cilantro, you just gotta dip it a little bit. It's so much cilantro, it's almost burning. Mmm, that's very nice. I can totally see like why this place is a madhouse. Tons of people coming in here, grabbing food. I saw someone eating on the hood of a car. Absolutely delicious, hearty fish. Next, we've got our fried fish right here. And this is the very fish he threw in by hand. He was touching the oil. He maybe even grabbed a fish or two when we weren't looking, I'm not sure. Let's try it out. 
Oh. That's where it's at. I've never had fish when having Indian food. It's so delicious. It does remind me of just a fish fry back home in Minnesota. It's just good fried heavy fatty fish. A winner for sure. Besties, don't forget to check out my last video where we featured the exotic foods of Mumbai, India. Please subscribe and click the bell icon for more fun food videos. Thank you so much for watching. This video was made possible by One Trip. One Trip is a company putting on tours in Vietnam. Right now they're in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An, but they've got so many more cities to come. They are doing adventure tours, food tours, the Mekong Delta tour. So many ways to see and experience and taste the real Vietnam. If you'd like to learn more about one trip and take a one trip tour next time you're in Vietnam, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Throw me one of these, not one of these. Throw so maybe a sub. We'll see you next week. A peace. If I fight, will I